Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a column chart that has percentages. So you may have seen in pie chart you can actually create labels that have percentages, but in column charts or bar charts there's not an option to select it. So there's a workaround to that and I'll show you three examples. So the first example is basically creating a 100% stack column chart and adding labels. That's probably the most simplest example. But if you wanted to not have the percentages as your Y or your vertical axis labels, maybe you wanted to keep the numeric axis labels. Uh, this example, the second example here will show that. So we still have our, for our value axis, we have our values. But then for the labels in the different columns, we have our percentages. So I'll show you how to do that one. And the third example is, what if we wanted to have both? Uh, maybe we don't have, want to have the, the value axis label here, but we wanted to have both a value and also the percentage. So I'll show you how to create that one. So let's go into the first example. In the first example, we're going to create the 100% stack column. What we need to do if we want to keep this table and uh, maybe your values change later on is you want to create a secondary table here that basically calculated the percentages. So that way we can do that is we can create a second table here. So we're in our second table here and what I do is I'm going to equal this first reference here, this North 1990, it's going to be 144, 1404. So for my bottom, my denominator, I'm going to select the total here. So this is our calculated totals already here for this column here. But I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of the six, row six. So what happens there, I'm going to press the F4 key a couple times, and that's going to put the dollar sign in front of the six. So what happens is when I copy it down, uh, column B, since I copy down, it's going to stay the same. But when I copy it across, the six is going to keep the six is going to keep the same, but B will change to C and then D as I copy the ground, copy it across. So let me go ahead and press Control Enter to stay in that cell. You notice that it's nine percent here. So if I copy it down by bringing this fill handle down, you'll notice that it's calculated the percentages. So the next thing I'll do is I'll take this fill handle here and move it across these two columns. And what happens is it copies the formula over, but if you notice, as I mentioned before, when I had the dollar sign in front of the six, it still kept it in row six, but it changed that letter to C. If I go under to C9, it changed that letter to D. So it calculated the percentages correctly. If I wanted to kind of really double check and go back to example one, let's say for example, I had 25% here for East 2000, for the year 2000 for East, it's 25%. So that calculates correctly. So now that I've created the second table, I'm gonna use this as my table to create the chart. I'll go ahead and select from A8 to D12, just the percentage parts. Go under insert, go to the column command, and for the 2D column, select the 100% stack column. So this gives me the stack column. All I need to do now is right click each of these uh, series and go add data labels. That gives you the data labels for 2010. The second one is 2000. Just right click, add data labels, and right click, add data labels. So this gives me the 100% stacked column. So I have the percentages within my column. Now if I wanted to not have these percentages for my uh, value axis, I wanted to have the value instead, let me go ahead and show you how that's done. That's in demo two right here. So if we wanted to create uh, the exact same chart but not have that value axis be percentage and just have it as the values itself, we're gonna have to use this table as the link to that chart. But we also still need to have this table to give us our percentages. So earlier I showed you how to create the percentages by going into each cell and using the denominator, having that divided by the total and just copying it down and copying over. Another way you can do it is select the first cell where the formula is gonna appear and just kind of select this whole thing and then type up the formula. That equals, and it's gonna be this value divided by this value, and I'll put a dollar sign in front of the, the six here. So if I select there and just press F4 a couple times, or twice actually, just make sure I have the dollar sign, dollar sign in front of the six. And instead of pressing Enter, I'm gonna press Control Enter. And that basically calculates it out for the whole range that we selected. So we have our 25% here, remember from last time. So that's an easy way to do it, that's a shortcut. And so Excel's pretty smart enough to figure out when you make that selection, that formula is going to apply for that whole selection. So that's just a shortcut for that. So let's see how we go ahead and create this table. Now as I mentioned before, to create the table and we wanted to have those values, we need to use this table. So I'm going to select this table here, this range for this table, go under insert, 
and under column, I'll go ahead and select the stack column because I don't want 100%. I want the stack column where I would have the values up here. I don't want it to be all up here in the same. I don't want, I don't want it to have, have the same height. So I want it to kind of vary because of my values here. So same as the other chart, I don't want to have my regions at the category axis. I want to switch them around. So I'm in the design tab of the chart tools contextual menu. Go ahead and click on the switch row and column command so I can have my years at the bottom here. So similar again, I'm just going to right click and add the data labels for each of them. Right click, add the data labels. And we have here the red one, the red south is selected. Right click, add data labels. And for the last one, right click and add data labels. So with this one, what we need to do is we need to individually link to the table that has the percentages. So 3724, I'm going to click on that. You, see, you notice that the West region, all the West region series are selected. So I'm just going to click it one more time because I just want this one selected. And up in the formula bar, I'm going to type equal. And 3724 is this West value here at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So now it's going to turn into a cell reference. So it's re referencing cell B12 here. So if I press Enter, you'll notice now that's 25%. So I can do the same thing for the other ones. I can select this one, and then you see that it's the only one selected. Go up here and then type equal. 4819 is 32%. Type return, and then go to this one over here. This one's selected. Type equal. 3592 is this last one here. And click on that. You notice that D12 is selected. And since uh, this is going to be the same thing over and over again, I'll go ahead and speed up the rest of the video. So you notice that it was pretty manual uh, process that we had to go through. Now this would work well if you didn't have that many values, that many columns to put this in. But if you had a lot, of course, this would take a lot of time. So it's probably best to stick with the first example if you had a lot of data to um, put into percentages. So let's go into the third example where if we wanted to also to have the values and the percentages in our chart. So in this example, what we need to do is we need to have this value and also the percentage. So what I need to do is create a formula. So the formula is going to equal this reference. In addition to that, I want to append it to a formula that calculates the percentage. And to do that, I can use the ampersand. So the ampersand will append uh, values together. So I'm going to go ahead and append a comma space and then another comma and then the ampersand to add it again. And this is where I'm going to put my formula. This divided by the total here. And of course, the total here, I'm going to have it as a uh, mixed cell reference, having the dollar sign in front of the 6. And press Enter. And you notice that it, it really gave me the percentage. But look, it gave it as a decimal. So we need to change that. And so to change that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put something in there called a text function. So what the text function does is it takes that decimal and it puts it into a format that is going to be percentage. So the format text I'm going to use is going to be in quotes. It's going to be in quotes, the pound sign, or the octothrope, as that's called, and more technically, the pound sign, and then the percentage sign, and close that within quotes. So what happens is the pound sign represents that, represents that there has to be at least one number that's going to be in there, that's going to show up there, and the percentage sign is the percentage sign, that, that sign will show up after that number. So I'm going to close the parentheses, press enter, whoops, I forgot to add the reference here. Let me go ahead and type in B2 divided, whoops, so I'm going to go ahead and select uh, B6 and press the F4 key two times to have the dollar sign in front of the 6 press enter and you will now notice that I have my 9%. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, double click and it'll copy it over here. It'll copy it down and I'm going to select the fill handle and bring it over here and it'll copy it across. So now you see that I have my values here. So what I'm going to do now is, you know, I'm, this is going to take a while. This the exact same thing that I do for column C and D, I can just do for column B. So I'm just going to show you the example and select column A to B and create the stacked uh, column that way. So I'll go ahead and click insert and go to column 
and I'm going to select the stack column here and again I'm going to go ahead and switch the data around so I have an all in one column right click to add data label and right click add data label right click add data label and then right click here and add the data label here so the same as I've done in demo 2 what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that type the equal sign Whoop, go up here to the formula bar Whoop, select that again let me see go into formula type equal and I'm going to select this value right and so now it's going to give me that particular combination of the value and the percentage so I'm going to do the same here for this one just like that go into the formula bar type equal and then hit that key hit that cell and go ahead and click this and go into the formula bar whoops select it again type in go into the formula bar equals and then the 3965 26 percent and the same for this 1440 whoops now go ahead click on there and then type equal and then the 14.4 over there. So that's going to give my value and a percentage. So if I didn't want to have this particular axis, I can just click on that and press delete and it's gone. I can click on the vertical lines here and press delete and that's gone. And if I had the other two columns, they would show right next to it. And so I would have my years down here and then I would have my values and the percentage of the total. So those are the three ways that we can create a column bar that shows percentages. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.